So I'm out here in the jungle and where we have the first challenge for our Hoyas. We asked all of our 10 remaining Hoyas to compete in our garden and see if they can withstand the surroundings. Being surrounded by different plants and different colors and trash. The challenge was, are they going to be able to be the focus of attention and the judges, are they going to be able to appreciate the foliage, the leaves from a far distance? It's one thing to have a Hoya up close and appreciate the veining and the, maybe the furriness, but it's another thing to look at it from a far distance, which is what the challenge was about. The challenge was, they're going to be able to take a picture and a video from a distance and can they withstand a far angle? Can they also show the foliage, the veining and the furriness from a far distance? So the first three contestants in the challenge were Hoya Hinterbo, Hoya Viola, and Hoya Botanica. Let's see how they did. Oh, so when I got in the photo set, um, I was super happy because I saw so many plants. I feel like I was in a jungle. Um, I was instantly in photo shoot mode and I started just taking pictures with the mob with the photographer I saw some pink flowers around so I kind of used them to help with my variegation on my plant so um, You guys know I have a, a very white leaf and I wanted to showcase that leaf along with some pink flowers in front of me And that along with the photographer. I feel like you made a really good outcome really wanted to shine in this round i am more of like a close-up type of hoya so that i could show my paintings however i knew this was gonna be more of like a distance photo shoot so my goal was to pretty much grab people's attention by showing the leaves that i have i was trying to lift some of my leaves up so that it could be seen from a distance However, I don't think it was successful. I just wish that the picture that I took was enough for me to go to the next round. I do believe that I do have very nice leaves and I feel like that should take me to the next round. Um, I really wanted to showcase the, leaf, the veining on my leaves and I hope I did. Coming in into the first round of totals, I was very timid and very shy. Um, it was my first time doing something like this and you know, I had the first time nerves like always. However, as the competition went by or the day went by, I started to loosen up and I actually started to enjoy it. Um, I do hope that my picture was not affected by how shy I was at the beginning and I hope that I was able to score a pretty nice shot that's going to take me to the next round. I really am enjoying this competition and I feel like my picture is definitely going to come out really good. My main focus was to show the redness of my leaves because I feel like that's probably my best attraction and I feel like I made it happen. Now, what do the judges have to think about them? Let's go ahead and see. Right, Hoya Hindu Rogue, very gated didn't really do much too much for me i really like the contrast of the pink flowers on the variegation but then the pink flowers don't let that steal um the shot from you um so for me it's you i'm only gonna give um a three points for this because the variegation is lovely the leaf shape is great but we need a bit more there's not there's not much like variegation throughout so i was hoping for a little bit more than that and i do think the pink kind of steals away from the shot so that is just a free from me hey hindu bro um your shoe is very very beautiful i like how your leaf how you are you're different you're unique uh all those swirlies i really like it i'm giving you a three I was very happy to see your chemistry with the photography. You had a really good, you know, bond, and you seem to be really happy and happy. And I like that. However, the challenge was you being the center of attention. And I know that you say that you know you want to use the pink flowers in front of you to make yourself look more nice and everything. But the point of the challenge was to make yourself 
be the center of attention and i feel like by using the pink flowers in front of you and the surroundings you kind of lost interest or we kind of lost interest in yourself and i feel like that was your mistake next time if you do make it to the next round try to focus more on your actual self instead of your surroundings and if you do you'll probably go further in this competition for now i have to give you a three <laughs> Right, Hoya Viola didn't really stand out too much for me. Um, the attitude was a little bit give or take. I could have, I could have left it to be honest. Um, the shot in the end was really nice. You could see the veining, and it was really, it was nice, um, but not doesn't stand out from the crowd for me personally. So I am afraid this is only getting one point from me. Um, too to forgetful, I I think um, maybe you could have had a bit more of a bubbly personality and it would have uh, made you a bit more memorable. Um, but yeah, no, one point for me. Oh yeah, Viola, you definitely caught my attention. You are beautiful. You have a beautiful leaf. I like how the shape of the leaf, how how you look really beautiful on top of the table. Um, I'm giving you a seven. So Hoya Viola, um. For me, you had a really good shot, you had a really good video, and you had a nice picture. However, um, listening to what you were saying, um, I feel like you kind of got lost in the way, and um, they don't know having a nice picture and a good video, you kind of, your attitude kind of affected you, in my opinion. I think you need to have a good attitude, because it's not just about having a good picture and a good video, you need a good attitude to go with it, and unfortunately, I did not like your attitude, you seem a little bit kind of like conceited, and I don't like that. So unfortunately, you had a good picture, but your attitude needs to work um, if you survive this elimination round, you definitely need to work on how you are and your presentation and pretty much your positivity because you seem a little bit too fast forward in my opinion. So I have to give you a 4 out of 10. The Hoya Britannica was an amazing shot. I really, really liked the picture. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is whether this Hoya will be able to really take it through to the next level because she went on a lot about her lack of experience and that she's really new and uncomfortable in these situations and I don't think you're really going to be able to bring much if that if you're putting your front forward is that you're uncomfortable and you don't have much experience when you take a picture like that if you removed if you didn't say all that stuff I would really enjoy this picture a lot more so unfortunately I'm only going to give you two points because I don't think you're really going to be able to carry much through the competition. Hi Hoya Botanica. I think you did a really great job in your shoot. Your reddish leaves are beautiful, and I think you're a really attractive plant. I'm giving you a five. Hoya Botanica, you did a decent job. I feel like you kind of got lost in your shyness, in your scaredness, and just how you, you know, doing this for the first time. Uh, some things you need to keep quiet and have you not said that it was your first time I probably would have not noticed that it was your first time doing this however you did say it and in doing so it kind of lost um, points for me had you stayed quiet and not said anything you would have done amazing um, your picture was uh, it wasn't one of my favorites I feel like you could have done so much more with your foliage maybe a different angle maybe have the camera in front of you instead of like in front of you you know you could have done something better and you didn't unfortunately so I have to to give you a 2 out of 10 because I feel like there's room for improvement and I hope the audience gives you a good score but I don't think you're gonna do so well in this round so yeah our next three contestants were Hoya Crimson Print Queen, Hoya Akuta Verigata and Hoya China Lee let's see how they did So I knew that we had a very small amount to take a picture, knowing that I'm one of the biggest contestants in this competition, I started to worry about the tendrils since I have very large tendrils and I'm quite a large size Hoya compared to the rest. Um, my idea for this was to be able to show all of myself, all of my Hoya leaves, all of my tendrils in one shot. And I'm a little bit worried that I didn't really make that happen. However, I am very happy with the way the picture came out, I think, because I feel very secure. And um, I think I do have a lot of advantage with the other contestants because I have a lot of experience. And at the end of the day, I actually had fun filming this photo shoot. So I hope the judges see that. <laughs> good 
shot when I saw the surroundings on this um, shootout. I was told there was going to be on a garden and so when I saw the surroundings I noticed that everything was green and that's where I got my idea for this shoot. I decided to stand in the middle of the wooden table and led my variegation to the talking. A lot of my variegation definitely came through in the photo shoot and I had a very fun time. The variegation and the greenness of my leaves with the contrast of my surroundings I feel like they definitely worked very well. And at the end, um, I was very comfortable and I feel that that's gonna show in my pictures and I hope that the judges see um, how much I had fun. I knew this was gonna be a little bit challenging since I do have the smallest leaves in the you know, in the competition, I do have very little leaves that are not so much, you know, attractive. Um, however, I wanted to do a really good job and I felt very comfortable in the wooden table. I did use a little pebbles to elevate the back of myself so that I could showcase more of my foliage from the front. That was my idea to pretty much showcase how the few leaves that I have are able to, you know, help me out and make a show for themselves and I feel like I you know I was able to do what I wanted to and I feel like it's going to be reflected on my photo. And let's see what the judges have to think about them. Right, Hoya Lee really used the props to her advantage and I really enjoyed the shot and um, just just glancing at it, you'd think that maybe this Hoya doesn't have the best chance because of how small and intricate the leaves are. And she's not relying on veining or variegation. She's just carrying through using um, what she has and the, the props on the set. And I really, really enjoyed the, the end product. So it is a seven points from me. I'm really, really enjoyed this shot. Hey, Hoya Lee. I really think um, you did a good job on the shoot. I think it was a great idea adding those pebbles in the back. You really did stand out a lot. But I really want to see um, more fullness and more leaves. So I'm giving you a one. All right, so China, Hoya China Lee. Um, I really enjoyed um, your clip and I really ended up loving your final product, your final image. Um, you had a really nice, clever idea of putting the little pebbles behind your pot so that you can elevate yourself and that you can you know show more of the little leaves that you do have because you're not a full plant which i don't really have an issue with um i know that your forte is the close-ups and you know the little furriness and i feel like you did not quite succeed in showing what you could have done by uh, taking a picture from a far distance you're greatly affected by the distance um, as opposed to having a picture being taken up close However, um, the, just the fact that you were able or smart enough to put a little pebble behind your nursery pot so that you could elevate yourself and like tilt and show a little bit more of the foliage was something that I really enjoyed and I found to be very um, smart. So just for that fact and your end the result, I'm going to give you a 5. Right, Hoya Crimson Queen, I did really enjoy the photo, but... Um, you go on a lot about um, confidence experience or like I really don't think you should rely on how popular you are um, and I think you should be because you are so well known you should be bringing that next level um, so Crimson Queen mm, to me more like Filler Queen Filler Queen Filler Queen but I did really enjoy the picture and um, for that I'm going to be giving you a six but I really do need that extra um, for me because you are so well known. Crimson Queen, you are definitely your name. I really enjoyed watching you being surrounded of all those greens. I really love the fullness of your leaf, the color, and it's a beautiful, beautiful picture. I'm giving you a 10. Oh yeah, Crimson Queen. Um... You know, you had a very nice picture. The good thing about you is that you're very big and you can actually, you know, you have room for improvement, of course, like every other Hoya. Um, 
something I do need to mention for you is don't say that you have an advantage over the others because you come off a little bit as, you know, you think you're all that when you're really not yet. Kind of like what happened with Viola earlier on. Um, Koya Kim Sun Queen, you need to, you know, be more down to earth, be more, you know, genuine about the things that you say because you might have one of the best pictures and you might have one of the, you know, the fullest, you might be one of the fullest Koyas in this competition. But if you keep bringing things in negative comments like that, you're not gonna make it so far, okay? So if you do make it to the next round, um, what you need to work on is pretty much being more down to earth and being more chill, okay? So um, I do like your picture and I have to give you an eight out of 10. Hoya Akuta variegated, a really pretty shot and I really, really love that variegation. Um, the personality didn't really stand out to me, but the variegation is intense and that is something that I really want to see more of. So I'm giving you a five points um, because I want to see more. I think you've got a lot more, more to show. Um, I'd like to see a bit more creativity um, and don't really, don't try not to rely on that variegation because that is something that people can enjoy. Um, so your personality should be an addition to that and not necessarily just relying on your variegation. Hoya Akuta, I think you did um, an amazing job. You definitely picked the right uh, spot being surrounded by greens. You definitely were the spotlight. You were the spotlight. I think you were beautiful, beautiful picture. I am going to give you a nine. All right, Hoya Akuta Varigata. You have super great uh, variegation, and I really like how you're exploring it. If you have it, show it, right? And you're doing a great job. I think you, your image was really good. Um, something that I could give you for next episode if you do survive this first round is to not really just rely on your variegation because yes, it's your forte, and if I had your variegation, I would definitely use it. But know the fact that you are not just beautiful because of your variegation. I know that in your in the first episode you said that you were here just to make your Hoya um, Akuta Varigata more popular. So um, do you really want to make it popular because it's variegated or do you want to make it popular because um, you're easy to find and you're a fast grower? I really want for you to grow in this competition, not just in a metaphorically speaking, but I want you to actually grow in leaves. If you're able to pull out a new leaf and show us what the new growth of yourself can do, then I think you will be a really high contender to beat. For the given time, I have to give you a seven out of 10 because I think you had a really good shot. As the next three contestants up next were Hoya Fungii, Halas Malangensis, and Revolubilis. Now in this set of three, we had a little bit of complications. The darkness was pretty much taking over and we didn't have much light for the Hoyas to outshine, but were they able to fight off the problem? Were they able to withstand the darkness? Let's see how they did. By the time it was my turn, um, the sun started to hide and it was very dark where I was taking the pictures. Um, so I had to work with what I had. Um, my main attraction for me is my veins and how dark green I have my leaves. However, I feel like it kind of played a little bit against me. Um, I was trying to showcase the white veining in the margins of my leaves and I feel like I did a good job. Um, given the fact that it was very dark by the time I was taking my photos, I tried to pretty much have a good time and enjoy the moment and I feel like that was reflected on my picture so I feel like I did a good job. So I want to be 100% honest, I didn't find it fair for other Hoyas to go during a brighter time since it does give you more advantage. However, I don't want to complain either and I want to just, you know, work with what I was given. I was given a very bad timing for pictures, so I tried to make it work. I felt like I had to work twice as hard. Um, I'm also the tallest Hoya or one of the tallest Hoyas. I am 6'5", so it's kind of hard for me to 
pose and get a good angle in one shot. However, I feel like I was able to accomplish that and I feel like my picture came out looking really good and I hope that the judges see potential in me. I have to say, being out there in the garden really reminded me of Germany. I feel like I was at home and I feel very relaxed. I am very tall and I feel like that was a little bit of a problem. I am 7 foot 1 so I am the tallest one here and I feel like that kind of helped me in a way. I like to think of everything positive instead of negative. Um, so I'm very tall and I kind of had a hard time finding a good beat um, or a good angle I should say. However, I think at the end, I was able to take a picture in a weird angle, but it worked out. Let's see how they did. Uh, Revo Lubilis definitely gets quite a high score from me. I really enjoyed the angle of the shot and the, the long uh, leaves really are shown off nicely and definitely enjoyed the positive attitude um, Having that positive outlook definitely shows in the picture. So it is an eight for me. Really really enjoyed that one Hoya Revolu Billies. I really enjoy how tall you are and Also, I love your positivity. I'm giving you a four Hoya yeah, Revolu Billies um, I feel like you were the only one that actually stepped out of the of the whole scene and you actually gave us a picture from a different angle. A lot of the other Hoyas just were, they didn't really jump out of the box and they stayed in the same square. You actually did look around. Um, I know that you're tall and that you were having some complications, but I like that you were not negative about it. You were actually very positive about it. You actually took initiative and, you know, I like that you were the only one that actually took a picture from a different angle and I really like that. I encourage other Hoyas to learn from you because for me, you were the best Hoya in the competition and the challenge was a 10 out of 10 for me. So yes, you got a 10 out of 10 for me, Hoya. Rebulubilis, 10 out of 10. Keep up the great work. Hoya Tadden Malangensis, um, I really, really enjoyed the shot, like the final picture. Um, bit of a, like, I wasn't sure where it was going um, through the video, but then once we got to the final shot, it was really, really paid off. Now I'm hoping that that isn't just a one, one shot wonder or like a one trick pony. I'm really looking forward to seeing a lot more from that. And for me, that was a solid nine, definitely nine, um, nine points and I'm really looking forward to seeing more, but again, didn't get too much of an idea from, from, of your personality through that, but I'm definitely gonna stick around to see more. Hoya TJ, I'm gonna call you like that, I don't wanna mispronounce your name. I think you did an amazing job in your shoot, regardless of the, of the lighting, how, you know, how dark it was. I think you looked really beautiful in the picture and your leaves are beautiful. You know, I like that they're veiny and you're you have the really dark green color and I I really liked it. I'm giving you an 8. Oh yeah, For me, you had a very difficult scenario, but what really made me even like you more than I already did was that you overcame the obstacle of it being dark and it being really nighttime. So um, I like that you were very positive, you worked with what you were given and you didn't complain. So I really like that the veining came out. So definitely a nine out of 10 for me because you worked your angles and it showed. Right, Hoya Fungi, I really, really like the foliage on this and it is a very basic, I'll use that word loosely, very basic, simple structure and I really enjoyed that. 
but the attitude really took away from the shot and um, the negative outlook just wasn't doing it for me uh, but I do really think that if you drop the attitude <laughs> you'll be able to get a bit further so I'm giving you a four um, a lot of work to do however I can see the potential oh yeah Funji I hope that's how you say it um, I really like how you're also one of the tallest Hoyas I think you are very beautiful uh, I like your leaves, the shape of your leaves, and for that, I'm giving you a six. We have Bungie Eye. Bungie Eye, you started out um, as a front favorite. Um, people love you, and you have great foliage for it. Um, however, your your attitude and your professionalism was really down the drain. Honestly, for me. When I have someone that it's difficult to work with, I just rather not work with them for, you know, and unfortunately, I have to give you a one because I just didn't like it. And the last one was Hoya Finlay Sony Eye. Let's see how she did. So I wanted to really outshine the rest of the competition. I know that all of them have more than one leaf. Given the fact that I only have one leaf, I really needed to step it up a notch compared to the rest. So instead of me just standing in the wooden table, I wanted to take my picture sideways in a weird angle that was going to, you know, be remembered by the judges. Therefore, I hope I did a good job. And what did the judges have to think? Hey, oh yeah, Finless Sony. Um, I really like your leaf. I like the shape, the color. I just want to see more fullness. Um, I'm giving you a two. Sony. I was expecting a lot more from you. I know that you only have one leaf, and you're probably the only Hoya that only has one leaf. I like that you didn't let that get in the way. Um, even though it's one leaf, you kind of, you know, give a good fight. However, in this shot, I didn't really like your picture. Like, it looked like the air tossed you, or like maybe a cat passed by and tossed you, and it looked kind of like messy. So, if you do go on to the next round, focus on those little details because those little details can either make you or break you. So, for now, I'm gonna give you a six, okay? Six out of ten. Right, so Finlay Sonia actually impressed me here because not only do we have the impressive veining. We've got a nice large leaf shape, but they didn't let the single leaf limit their creativity and they actually gave us like a really cool shot that showed a bit more than just looks. So it really showed a lot of creativity and personality and um, I'm looking at the potential for growth and I think this one is definitely getting the 10 point mark from me. That was a definite perfect shot. showing you guys the introduction of our top 10 Hoyas. In that video, I asked for you guys to vote for your favorite Hoya. Pick which Hoya was your favorite. I added the comments, the votes from that video to this competition. Your votes have been added to the judges' scores from this week. So the judges' scores plus your comments have been added and I now, in my phone, know which Hoya will be eliminated. I will name nine Hoyas and the Hoya that I do not call must immediately return back to the greenhouse in her nursery pot and just grow. I will call nine Hoyas and the Hoya that I do not call is eliminated. In first place, we have with 28 points, Hoya. Alas Balangensis. In second place, with 26 points, Hoya Akuta Verigara. In third place, with 24 points, 
Hoya Crimson Queen. These are your top three Hoyas. These three Hoyas had the best picture and the best overall scoring. But which Hoyas are next? In fourth place, with 22 points, Hoya Revolubilis. For fifth place and sixth place, we had a tie with 15 points. However, we value your votes in your house. So the Hoya in fifth place had more public votes, had more points from the comments on the YouTube video, and therefore, it's in fifth place. Hoya Vangii. In sixth place, with 15 points, Hoya China Lee. And we now have our bottom three. These three Hoyas in front of me, Hoya Hindu Rope, Hoya Botanica, and Hoya Bioba. These three Hoyas had the least amount of scores, the least amount of public votes, and therefore are in our bottom three on our first episode of America's Next Stop Hoya. One of these Hoyas must immediately return back to the greenhouse, get on your nursery pot, and be eliminated of America's Next Stop Hoya. All of these Hoyas had some kind of complications with the round. Maybe Hoya Hindu Rope didn't do well with her picture. The judges said that the pink flowers in front of her kind of took away the spotlight. For Hoya Viola, the attitude was her big issue. She got a good picture, but her attitude of being a little bit of arrogant didn't really sit well with the judges. As for Hoya Butanika, very shy, very timid, the new Hoya in this competition. The judges didn't like that. She needs more self-confidence. We should be able to work with that. At the end, the Hoya in eighth place. Moving on to the next round. And with 13 points, Hoya Viola. So we have our bottom two, Hoya Hindu Rope, the curly girl with the variegation or slight variegation that didn't really was that didn't shine. She wasn't the focus of attention, which was the challenge. Or Hoya Butonika, the Hoya that did do the challenge, but got lost in her shyness and in her newbiness per se. Which Hoya is eliminated? Would it be the Hoya that didn't? catch the judges and didn't shine on her challenge, was not the center of attention, or could it be Hoya Botanica, the Hoya that did it but wasn't embarrassed. The Hoya moving on to the next round with 11 points in last place, but moving on is Hoya Botanica. As a result, Hoya Hindu Rope. You have to say goodbye to the competition. It was a pleasure having you. Unfortunately, the judges thought that your picture was not up to pair. The challenge was to be the focus of attention, and by using the pink flowers in front of you, you succeeded at nothing. The judges thought the pink flowers were the center of attention, and you were just washed down in the background. Hopefully, you continue to grow. But as of now, I'm sorry to say, you're not America's next top Hoya. You have to immediately get on your nursery pot, get on the greenhouse, and say goodbye to the competition. Comment down below which competition you want for next week. Do you want a black and white, a close up, a view from above? You name it. Comment down below which Hoya is your favorite. And don't let your favorite Hoya be eliminated on next Sunday's elimination. Something that I just want to make clear is that unfortunately, Lily, our fourth judge, was not able to make it to the competition. She had last minute family problems and as with everything, family comes first. So she was not part of the judging panel for this week. She might come for next week or she may not come back again. We'll be able to find out together next week. Thank you so much for watching America's Next Stop Hoya. Vote for your favorite and don't let your favorite be eliminated. Hopefully your favorite was not Hoya Hinterope. Thank you so much for watching. Kapung karegato.